the diagnosis was a little bit unexpected. I actually thought I had pneumonia and went to see my physician and told her that I had pneumonia and she checked out my lungs, they were fine. Um, but after looking at the records further, she recommended that I go see my cardiologist, um, who then determined that I had cardiomyopathy. Um, I had a, uh, a week of meetings scheduled in Florida. Um, on the day of the event, um, I got up in the morning and uh, went for a run. I was operating, of course, under the assumption that the, the day was going routinely. Um, got ready. Uh, my meeting at iCard Merrill was at 10 o'clock. Um, I went to the meeting, and that's really where my memory stopped. Received a telephone call letting me know that uh, Karen had uh, experienced a cardiac arrest. My mind was, of course, racing all over the place to the absolute worst possible scenario. So when I arrived in Sarasota, I was driven by a family member to the hospital where Karen had been in a, a awakened state, but not really a coherent state. And uh, she had been through five resuscitations with uh, an AED and, and subsequently a full-blown defibrillator by both the staff at ICARD Merrill as well as the paramedics. My mother passed away at a young age, relatively young age. She was 52 with an undiagnosed heart condition. The investment in the device and the training of staff at ICARD Merrill as well as the you know, prompt emergency response by the Sarasota EMTs that allows Karen to be here today. There's a certain irony to it, I feel like. Um, her contributions to the American Heart Association in some way benefited me because of the research and the technology that was available to um, save my life and help me recover. Um, she was very active with the American Heart Association in St. Petersburg. I think for women, um, you know, at a certain age, you're supposed to go get a mammogram. Um, but I also think at a certain age, you should also go get a stress test and just have your heart tested and, and make sure it's healthy. Because if there is a problem um, or some kind of abnormality, typically it can be treated. Oftentimes the challenge is recognizing the symptoms and I think Go Red for Women is so important because it helps educate women about the symptoms that should that they should pay attention to when to seek help or see a physician. Sometimes when I get busy with the daily routine, I have to really stop and remind myself that um, what my priorities are and actually live out my life the, consistent with my priorities. And that includes taking care of myself so I can be there for my family, for my husband and my children. Thanks to um the decisions made by others in large part, <clears throat> um, you know, we have, uh, uh, Karen's here today and uh, we enjoy her every day. I have a new appreciation for every day. Um, I'm thankful for every day that I have and the time with my family. Every day is a gift.